Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am joined with my mom and we are going to be looking at her results that she got from 23andMe. Um, now I did this test a few months ago and I learned a lot about myself, which then prompted my mom to want to know more about herself as well. So for Mother's Day, I got her a 23andMe kit and we just got her results and we thought we would share it with you guys. I am originally from Sonora, Mexico. I didn't know much about my ancestry. The only thing I knew about it was that on my, my grandparents on my dad's side, they were both Spanish ancestry. And on my mom's side, my grandpa was as well um, Spanish ancestry. My grandma, she was Native American ancestry. Other than that, that's all what I knew, so I was very excited to find out more about it. Mm -hmm. So getting into my mom's results, I'll put up screenshots on the screen so you guys can see too. So your biggest percentage was European at 63.1% with 55.7% being Southern European and of that Southern European, 44.4% was Spanish and Portuguese. So that's almost half of your ancestry. So that's that pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then 11.3% broadly Southern European. Um, and then we go to your Northwestern European, which is only 2.9%, which is 0.9% French and German, 0.6% British and Irish, and 1.4% broadly Northwestern European. And then we go into Ashkenazi Jewish, and you are 1%. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> and then 3.5% broadly European. Okay, so getting into her next big percentage, it is East Asian and Native American at 19.5%, with Native American being 17.8%, and broadly East Asian and Native American at 1.7%, which I think makes a lot of sense with your grandma. Yes, totally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so getting into these smaller percentages, you are 6.7% Western Asian and North African, with 3% being North African and 0.2% Arab, Egyptian, and Levantine. Mm. I think I'm saying that. And then 0.1% Northern West Asian, and then 3.4% broadly Western Asian and North African. I did not have an idea about no, that. No, yeah. And then you are 3% Sub-Saharan African with 1.5% being Congolese and Southern East African and then 1.2% West African with 0.7% being Nigerian and 0.4% being Senegambian and Guinean and then 0 wow. I know yeah 0.1% broadly West African and then 0.3% broadly Sub-Saharan African so in total, you're almost 10% African, so that's interesting. No idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I don't think anybody in my family knew about that. Yeah. And then you have 0.4% trace ancestry um, from broadly Central and South Asian. I also got that too. I think mine was like 0.1%. Um, so that's interesting. And then you have 7.3% unassigned, which just means that they weren't able to put it in a specific category. Um, but as they get more information, they should be able to assign it to different ancestries. So 23andMe was able to detect that you have ancestry in Mexico, which makes sense. And it says that your strongest evidence of your ancestry is in the following 10 regions. And the first one is Sonora, which is where you're from. I'm from. So <laughs> they nailed it. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to compare our results and see how much ancestry I inherited from my mom. So it says here that I inherited 34.7% European ancestry from my mom and not much Northwestern European, 0.5% and then 0.3% French and German, 0.2% broadly Northwestern European. Um, the majority of my European percentage from you is Southern European, which makes sense. Yes. 32.1% and 29.8% Spanish and Portuguese. And then 2.3% broadly Southern European. I got that 1% Ashkenazi Jewish from you. And then 1.1% broadly European. Okay, so I got all my Native American percentage from you. 
Um, so I got 8.5% East Asian and Native American with 8.2% being Native American and then 0.3% broadly East Asian and Native American. So once again, like my Native American percentage, my African percentage all comes from you. So that is 2.2% Western Asian and North African, 1% North African, and 1.2% broadly Western Asian and North African. And then I am 1.6% Sub-Saharan African with 1.1% being Angolan and Congolese. And then 0.5% West African with 0.3% Nigerian and 0.2% Senegambian and Guinean. Okay, so getting into the last couple percentages, I have 0.1% Central and South Asian and then 2.7% unassigned. So that is all the percentages and ancestry I got from you. You are a very mixed baby. Yes, I am. <laughs> we need to make your dad um, do this. I know. Well. We're trying to convince my dad to take this test. Um, for those of you that don't know, my dad is a white American. So I get a lot of my European ancestry, especially that Northern European ancestry from him. So um, yeah. She Hope. got more from me. Yeah, I got I got the more interesting half from my mom. That's the best. for sure. The best, the best half. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in doing this, definitely check it out. It was a lot of fun and it was really interesting. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to see more content from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.